G'day guys, welcome to Mr. Edge FPV and uh, what I've got here today is, is something I just recently purchased uh, maybe a month ago or a couple weeks ago and uh, it's the uh, UR65 by URAV and uh, for the price it's a fantastic drone and I can see why there's so much uh, conversation about it on the internet it's, uh, it's a brilliant drone and I'll uh, have a quick little rundown of it uh, show you what it comes in the box. Uh, I've already unboxed this. It's not an unboxing per se um, And I've made one slight little mod to it as well Nothing major, but uh, I'll uh, I'll break that down to you. So anyway, so this is the box <coughs> you get this in um, I've got the FRS guy edition and So that's you know, that's for my controller. Uh, so we open that up So what you get you get a manual. So this is a full-on manual explaining how to bind, how to set up on Betafly, anything else like that. You know, it's pretty, quite a comprehensive manual. It shows you every single thing step by step. It's um, it's quite brilliant. Uh, really handy to have if you're a beginner or if you just want to have a look at the frequencies for the VTX, etc. Uh, but yeah, that's the manual it comes with. Uh, that's the charger that it comes with. Great little charger. I think the fact that they included it in the uh, in the package that I purchased, the, per the, the couple of different packages you can buy, I bought the one with the uh, three batteries and the charger. Um, and uh, yeah, it's great. You can use a DC charger to charge it. It's got a USB out and it's also got XT60 to charge your batteries. So that's what I've been using. I've been using a 3S battery to charge my batteries uh, only because I can take this around with me wherever I want. So, and then what you have here, <coughs> it's obviously a bag of spares. You have a uh, little screwdriver. You have a prop removal tool and you have a set of uh, three blade props. Uh, it comes already fitted with three blade props, so you, you know, technically you have two different sets. Um, but I've changed it out because these quad blade props are so much better. Uh, and what you've got here is, then you get three of these batteries, 250 1S batteries with the PH 2.0 connector. Uh, 4.3 5 volts HV, um, great batteries. I uh, gotta say, I mean, they're not the worst. They're not, you know, obviously not the best either, but they're not the worst. For stock batteries, they do the job just fine for the time being, anyways. And then obviously you have uh, the man of the moment, or the drone of the moment. There she is. So, what? Uh, <coughs> so basically, tiny little uh, little drone, brushless uh, brushless drone. 0603 motor, 17,000 uh, kV. It's got a 120 degree uh, camera with a 25 milliwatt VTX on there. Uh, that's like an AIO camera, so that's pretty good. So, you know, if in the future you want to swap it out, it's possible. It's not an inbuilt VTX, as far as, I, as, far, as far as I can see, anyways. Great, I mean, for the money you're paying, it's actually a really good camera. Uh, I took it out, I've been flying it from inside my house, from basically where I'm sitting at the moment, and I've taken it outside, I've taken it across my neighbor's house, I've taken it over my roof, I've taken it across brick walls, and it's it's done a great job, so I'm quite impressed by that. These are the quad props uh, that I've got on, they're 0.8 millimeter shaft, and I think the 31 mil, I can't exactly remember, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's what the, uh, that's for the cases. Um, don't mind the little rubber band here I've got. I've just been trying out some different batteries, just experimenting a little bit. So I've just got that rubber band there to hold it in place. Uh, so I basically is using a uh, Crazy B uh, flight controller and it's running Betafly 3.3 from factory uh, and you can uh, obviously upgrade that to whatever you want, but at the moment I've just left it as it is just to see how you know how much difference does it make from standard to you know me messing with it a little bit. The only thing I have changed is I've changed some PIDs and some expos and uh, it's made a massive difference to how it flies. Not that it flew any worse, you know, to start off with, but uh, I've made a couple of changes and it seems to be uh, seems to be doing the job pretty well. Uh, battery life, uh, you get, well, I get a minute and a half to two minutes of battery. Um, but the good thing is charging these batteries uh, doesn't take particularly too long. I mean, this charger has an option of uh, charging at uh, um, 4.2, uh, it can charge 4.2 volt batteries or you flick the switch to 4.35 volts, which are these batteries. 
and it's also got uh, a switch for I guess you could call it fast charging uh, either at 0.2 amps or at 0.6 amps uh, I've normally had it on 0.2 I haven't really had the need or you know particularly in a rush to run it at 0.6 but the option is there if you like so how you put the connector in or the charger in you basically take a 3s lipo I mean that's what I'm using anyways and uh, plug it in bang light comes on and then you've got the voltage there um, every single channel that they refer to per battery has got its own separate voltage uh, these lights LED lights that are flickering once you put a battery in if it needs charging it's a solid light once it starts once it's charged this will show you that it's got 4.35 or 4.33 whatever volts it shows I haven't seen it at 4.35 yet and the light starts flickering that's when you know they're done so pretty handy little thing to carry out with, carry around with you you know it's not it's not very big it's a decent little size and this is uh, this battery is a 1500 milliampere 3s so I don't know it does the job for me so that's that for the moment uh, what else um, it's it's quite it's quite durable I've smashed it around a fair bit um, yeah more than a fair bit uh, and it seems to hold up just fine and the good thing about this is parts are available on Banggood for this and, they, and they're quite cheap I mean this frame I think is like Australian four and a half dollars or something like that uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cheap you can buy every single part on it. It's quite a simple thing. It's quite light, so I can't imagine you're doing too much damage with it. Um, but yeah, great drone, and uh, I'll see if I can throw in some uh, flight footage of flying around the house and uh, and see how you go. It's not, you know, one of the things was, you know, it's a slow drone. It's not a slow drone. It's actually quite a zippy little drone for 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 the size and the power that it's got. You know, it's a little motors and one S battery only. You can't run any higher than one S batteries on it. So I will stick to one S. And um, yeah, but uh, that's pretty good. So I'm just waiting for a couple more batteries to come through and I'll just fill around with it a little bit. Um, but yeah, apart from that, brilliant drone. Great if you're learning how to start, how to learn how to fly or you want to, you know, just stay indoors for a while. We've got pretty bad weather here in Australia at the moment. Um, so I've just been uh, flying this indoors. Uh, but yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you later next time. Thank you. Cheers. As, as promised, uh, here's the uh, beta flight configurator for the UR65. Uh, it's showing upside down because uh, the USB connector is at the bottom, so the only way to connect it is by flipping it upside down. Um, ports, quick look at the flight setup before I show you the PIDs. Uh, that's the setup there. Configuration, I haven't touched anything here. Um, D Shot 600 uh, is there. PID loops, I haven't change at all. Uh, receiver, I'm running SPI on receiver mode and FRS guide D for D8. Uh, I didn't bother going to D16, I was just in a bit of a rush so I've left it at D8. I've uh, got telemetry and OSD on, telemetry and OSD, D shot beacon, uh, everything else is as it is. PID tuning, these, these PIDs I've left uh, standard. I've increased the RC rate. Uh, sorry, I haven't increased the RC rate. I've increased the super rate and the RC expo. As you can see on the yaw, it's quite high, but it flies amazingly in this configuration. For me, anyways, it's all, always uh, quite subjective on how you like to fly and your flying style. Um, I've left that on profile two, so I can switch to profile one if I want to ever go back to stock uh, quickly, anyways, with my receiver set up. There, uh, modes. I've got arm on the switch and angle and horizon on a three-way switch, as well as obviously the full uh, rate mode. Um, motors I haven't touched. OSD. Um, quite a lot of options here for OSD. It's got RSSI. It's got power consumption, and it's got a fair amount of uh, things going on. Stock, it comes with heaps of these things turned on, so you'll see it cluttered all over your screen. So I removed a fair bit of them, and I've just left these uh, left these as it is. Um, yeah, apart from that, pretty straightforward. Nothing, uh, nothing too stressful. Pretty easy. Yep, that's it.